to Gail's Garden, Herbs and More. Things are crazy here because we're on evacuation warning, so I have got stuff pulled out of the car. I've got things that are packed and ready to go. Um, <laughs> I had just got a scent of, and I'm also trying to be prepared for what may come this November. Um... So I haven't even got to try out my sun oven yet, but I'm really excited about it. But there's so much smoke, we can't even breathe, much less try a sun oven. I don't have any sun, all I've got smoke out there. What I wanted to talk to you about today is licorice root. I had some viewers that were interested in that. This is what it looks like when it's all chopped up and dried. And I put it in most, I mean, oh, as many of my teas as it would be good in you know this one right here is my immune system my immune support tea and i do put a little bit in that when i'm cooking up um, my root tea with my yellow dock and burdock and um whatever other roots and seeds that i use i'll put some in there too because it is a root but i have a regular root tea that i do that's a good fortifier for the liver and stuff like that um but anyway i am not growing the plant but i'm kind of interested in growing it i don't know where i put it i'm kind of running out of room for plants so right now it seems available but i wouldn't mind getting a little plant started in case something happened and i couldn't um, so I may be looking into that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the benefits of licorice root. Okay, I'll let you uh, maybe watch the bees while I talk about licorice root. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you can see them for all my weeds. But um, okay. Anyway. There's a lot of benefits of liquor shoot. I'm not even, I'm only going to touch a few. But the main ones, it's supposedly it soothes the stomach pain, which I deal a lot with. Really, mine's not so as much in the stomach, I think, as the gut. But um, it also improves res respiratory system, which right now, I shouldn't even be sitting out here, but I am. Um, this the house gets dark and depressing if you stay in there all the time. I'm an outdoors person. I love being outdoors. Um, I don't know if you can tell. You can see it's uh, we're getting a little bit of sun coming through today, but it's still super super smoky. Um, so my tea that I'm drinking has that in it. It also reduces stress, which is a good thing for right now because we're all stressed with everything that's going on. Um. Licorice root is has antioxidants in it, which is really good. It's anti-inflammatory, which is, for me, I really need antimicrobial. It treats ulcers and aids digestion. Now, there's a lot of talk about side effects of licorice root. I've heard of an absence of the menstrual period, and some people get headaches and maybe high blood pressure and supposedly other stuff. I'm really wondering about this. I don't know about these specific um, tests, how they did them, um, but the, what they were doing or how much that they took. And that makes a big, big difference. Um, I was going to flip you over there to watch that butterfly, but it flittered away too fast. Anyway, if you're taking a whole lot of it, if you take a whole lot of anything, you might have some side bad side effects. Um, I have never, and I actually, I only put a little bit in my mixtures. Um, but I drink tea constantly every day, and I've not had any problems with it. Um, if you already have high blood pressure, you might want to be real careful with it. But even then, I think a little bit. I don't know if that would bother you or not, but maybe you want to try a different herb just because you need to be careful about that. Um, so you have to use common sense with it. If you take any type of an herb and get a headache, maybe you're taking too much, or maybe it's not even the herb, it just happens to be a coincidence that you took it at the same time. Um, you, it, It's going to be really up to you in experimenting. I am not a doctor. I don't claim to be. 
I am just sharing with you the things that I do. Um, and yes, there on this particular herb, there has been a lot of talk of high, especially of the high, causing high blood pressure, but it's never, ever affected me that way. There may be some people that are more prone to something like that. I don't know. Or maybe on the testing that they did, they took too much of it for too long of a period. I'm always switching my herbs around. I don't like to take anything constantly every single day. I just don't think that's good for a person. Um, it's always good. I rotate my herbs a lot. I do a lot of mixing of my herbs, but I already know about those herbs that I mix. Um, licorice root is one of those that you, I, I, some people may take it straight. I haven't. Um, I mix it with other herbs, but you want to be aware. I already have taken the other herbs before. So if you do have a reaction, you'll know which herb it might, you know, if you don't have a whole bunch of herbs, you don't know which one caused it if you're not familiar with those. So when you start out in herbs, start out using one herb at a time until you know that your body um, takes it well, and then you can try another herb. Maybe you'll come up with four or five herbs that you know your body handles well, and you can start doing different types of mixing and try different things. I've got a little notebook that I keep of tea mixtures that I make now that I really like. Once in a while, I'll make a mixture and I don't care for it. So then I won't write that one down. Actually, I should probably write that on the, um, the back side of the notebook or say, don't try this combination. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> but um, maybe someday I'll make a book of my teas, a little pamphlet with Gail's teas, huh? tea mixtures or something I don't know because I've got quite a few already but I'm always experimenting and doing more but I have my favorites and my immune system supports my very favorite um it tastes so good and it's got so many beneficial herbs in it but like I said I've been trying different herbs for a while so um yeah this is a few things about licorice root uh I don't have any pictures of the plant myself. When I put pictures out, those are pictures that I have taken. I don't use anybody else's pictures unless once in a while I have, uh, not very often though. I don't know if it's been for my blog or for my vlog. This one is with a V. Um, ones that were free and open. But usually I take my own pictures. So, yeah, that's what I do. And... um I don't have any licorice root plant pictures, but you all, if you know how to use the internet and have access, you can look it up. Um, but this is my experience that I've had with it. I take a little bit, maybe a teaspoon of it, and mixed with a big mixture for a nice pot of hot tea. I, I especially like my hot teas. have used it a little bit maybe in some of my cold teas, but it seems to be uh, I use it more in my hot teas. But sometimes um, I'll just pour what's left over from my pot of hot tea after it's set on the counter and cooled down and mix it with some regular tea to give a little different flavor, and it may have some licorice root in it. And like I said, I don't, depending how big a pot I'm making or whatever, um, it's the less amount of all my herbs that I put in because it's very strong flavored, so you don't need a lot of it. Um, it's supposed to be beneficial too, I believe, for blood sugar problems to stabilize you somewhat. I'm not positive on that one, but I'm pretty sure. So, uh, just a little bit about licorice root. If you have any questions, if I can answer them, I will just ask in the comments below and um, I will try to get this uploaded from my phone for you um, and hope it answers any questions or helps to familiarize you a little bit with the licorice root. Um, once I start growing some, if I ever get to that point, I'll do an update video on it on how it is to grow, how hard, how difficult, what it looks like. Um, that type of thing. But anyway, I will bid you all adieu for now and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.